Hi Taurus. What's up? This is your <laughs> it almost popped because then it was back. This is your bonus reading for February 2019. It is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Taurus. Um again, this is your bonus reading for February. And this will be for the last two weeks. So let's see what we have for you. So conflict, fighting, something is going on. Maybe people are talking about you. Maybe there's a lot of chatter right now. Um, <laughs> like a lot of these flipped over, like this whole stack flipped over. Um, so the Empress is that Taurus energy. It That's your card. So people's jealous of you right now, I guess, because you're emotionally fulfilled I guess or you're getting there you just need to move forward with yourself move forward with this passion with this fire with this flame with this spark of um <laughs> with this spark because whatever you've been working hard towards and putting all your effort into what is going to pay off when you get out when you look at things clearly and balance them instead of being in this you're like it's like almost like you don't have enough energy or like enough money um like you don't have enough money you don't have enough resources right now and maybe that's why she is upside down and instead of like up is because you're not moving forward with this um with your work with what you love you're not being emotionally fulfilled right now because people are talking shit and it's put you in a funky mood and now everything is like going haywire you can't get balanced you don't have enough money you're in this weird ass fucking energy and it's just got you all the way thrown off so if you're dealing with a water sign um pisces cancer Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Then they might have done this to you. Or, I mean, the Knight of Wands, instead of charging forward with your own passions, it could be you um, charging forward with a, you know, fire sign. <laughs> so, fire is Aries, Leo. Aries, Leo. There's one more. But Aries and Leo are coming to mind. Um, yeah, but you want to think about, you want to think about the feeling of being whole. When the world card pops up, it's like, this, this Queen of Cups, could you be nurturing yourself or nurturing whatever you have going on? But the world pushes us to think about us beating the drum at our own, uh, beating, be, beating the, what is it, beating the, uh, what is it, beating the drum to your own, it's, it's seven in the morning, so... <laughs> Beating to the tune of your own drum. Why couldn't I remember that? Okay, she, see, she's beating to the tune of her own drum. She's not caught up in these fuck motherfuckers over here talking shit. She's not letting them fucking work. She's not letting herself get worried about money. She is fully in her power. Like, listen, I'm doing me. We don't care about you. We don't care what you're going on. Um, you see me looking at any... She's not looking at none of these people. Like, she's looking... She's looking, like, to the left of her, or whatever, that would be her right. She's looking to the right of her at this Queen of Cups. But this Queen of Cups is focused on this, what is it, like, the Holy Grail or something? She's focused on her own thing, um, too. So it's, like, maybe, um, you focusing on 
something that inspires you, something that makes you feel emotionally fulfilled. But don't get so caught up on it because you still want to beat the drum, beat the beat to the tune of your own drum. Because <laughs> you're ignoring an opportunity. There has been an opportunity given, and you're ignoring it where this Queen of Cups. Now, this Queen of Cups is upright, so it could be not even like a water sign. It could be you nurturing your own um, emotions and your own. Um, queens are about emotions, but I mean, queens are about nurturing because they're like a motherly aspect of things, and the cups are about emotions. So, parts of yourself that need more care. Um, because you've been in your mind, apparently, in this King of Cups energy, or that King of Cups energy, um, confusion, needing to know where you need to cut people off, needing to know where you need to cut through the bullshit and look at things clearly, or this could be a, um, an air sign, so... Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, maybe wanting to cut one of those people off. And the last card that fell was this Four of Wands. So it's gonna, this celebration, or like you're gonna get what you want, but I think it's such a, it's like, you're gonna get what you want, but it's it's gonna be a smaller celebration than you thought. It's not going to live up to your expectations, but there is hope. And this card jumped at that same time when I said um, when I said like uh, it might not live up to your expectations. This card popped out, and I literally just made a video on my other channel, which is more about being in like spirit and like. God and like how everything ties together and the whole scheme of things so I made it this morning also so I'm going to attach it to the end of this video but it literally is about letting go of expectations giving yourself self-love um filling yourself up with energy and love and beauty and vitality and being healthy and being in your power and knowing that you are the source of your own happiness it doesn't take anybody else you don't need anyone else you just need to spread love and everywhere, basically. <clears throat> it's like, there is hope. No matter what, don't give up hope. And you'll be okay. Like, the hope star, or I mean, the hope star, the hope card is a beautiful, the, the star card, I keep saying the hope star, <laughs> the star card is beautiful. It's like one of my favorite parts like um and too like with like what is it uh astarte i think her name is astarte she would be like australia or like um who is that um like basically isis this is this is like the divine feminine like this is <clears throat> being at home in your body being happy, um, being happy, like stark naked, being happy and exposed and open and loving and exposing your heart, not like, not exposing your body, exposing your heart and knowing what's real and showing yourself to the world, not being, um, a, ooh, with the lover's card popping upside down too, um, Knowing how to connect with your higher self and your divine feminine and your, and this piece of you that's just like been lost or this lost connection or something. Ooh, and you got the two of cups too. So this relationship might be hindering you. This two of cups and then you have the queen of cups over here. Um, it, it's a, it, they're both upside down though. To have the lovers and this pop upside down, maybe you're fighting in a relationship. It could be with a person, twin flame, soulmate type relationships. Um, or it could be you fighting within yourself, it, it, either or. But the two of cups is normally you and another person. It's an offer of love, but it is upside down. So 
what have you gotten as an offer of love that you're not seeing? Or you're not waking up to the truth about something? Oh my god. This is a soulmate card as well. So this is a divine message. A Just um, somebody from your past coming back up. Somebody from... Um, so you're definitely... If you haven't met somebody, you're definitely going to meet somebody. If you have been in this relationship with this, either um, this King of Swords or this Queen of Cups, so any water sign or any air sign, or if you have this relationship going back and forth between your emotions and your mind or <clears throat> a water sign and an air sign, like, maybe you're going back and forth between the two and you can't get your head wrapped around this shit. Like, you just got so much going off on with the love, and it's just like, wow, this is crazy. Maybe, it could be you, it doesn't always have to be romantic, it could be this divine friendship or divine partnership that's going to take your career to the next level. And when I said that, it was 11.22, so those are both mastery numbers, but, um, it could, it could take you to the places you want to be, you know what I'm saying? It could help you understand yourself and your goals and your dreams and your desires, and today is a perfect day to give yourself the love you deserve and to give yourself, um, to make yourself a list of all the things you want, because when we're clear about what we want, like, we normally get it. It's just knowing what you want. What do you want? and writing a list and not really writing how to get there, just knowing that you're going to work on it and that that's what you want and not changing your mind about it and take time to meditate on it every day. And Okay, I'm going to pull a couple from the Wild Unknown tarot deck because I just got this one um, and clarify a couple of these cards. But at the very bottom, the Ten of Cups. <laughs> So popping out again, so. Okay, what do we have for Taurus for this? Oh. Okay. A few of them fell. So, the Father of Cups. So we now have the Queen of Cups and the Father of Cups. Father of Cups. So, this could be, um, a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, but you also have the Judgment card. So it's time to like look at yourself clearly. It's time to rise up from the darkness and be in the light and shine. Um, it's time to look clearly at yourself and realize like, you're not a bat, you're a bird. Fly, um, be in your light, be in your power. Um, and then we have the Six of Wands. So, um, so, This is why I don't use this deck, because I don't know, I don't remember what the cards mean, because I look at the pictures a lot. So, the Six of Wands. I'm going to have to look that one up in a minute, because I don't even remember what the fuck that means right now. But it's like, clearly, like, you're not seeing, you're in the darkness, you're not seeing the rainbow, you're getting rained on, you're just in, like, a, to me, this is, like, not seeing the good. Um, just being in the darkness. That was more intuitive. I don't really, I don't remember what the card means at this time. <laughs> um, and then you have, wow. Okay, so you have death. So what parts of you need to die right now, basically? What do you need to let go of? What do you need to, like, bad habits fucking just 
what things are keeping you bound and chained? Like, what things are you... No, nah, that's more the devil energy. The death is like Scorpio energy. Like, what things do you literally need to transmutate into a different energy? What things do you literally need to <clears throat> turn into something? Like, turning your pain into pleasure. Turning this hate into happiness. Letting go of, like all these things you're hanging on to and changing it into positives with the hermit so it's like you need to raise up and stick your light like put your light out there like know that it's like not all those who wander are lost like the hermit has his house on his back and he puts his light on top of his fucking shell and like it's his head and just like you know what I'm saying? Like, he's in his, like, power. Like, he knows that the light comes from him. He knows that it's from inside of him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he's this lantern. So, he's like, here, let me, like, let you shine. Like, he steps back from it to be like, okay, who can I warm up? Who can I make happier with by going inside myself? Like, let me, let me chill out and go inside myself for a minute. Breathe. And then come out here and let other people be lit up by my full understanding of who I am. You see what I'm saying? And ten of cups with the fool. I mean, I'm sorry, ten of pentacles with the fool. So this is about taking a leap of faith. <clears throat> taking a leap of faith. Jumping off the edge of the cliff. Jumping off the branch for the first time. Let's look. Like, this little birdie, he's, like, jumping out the nest for the first time. It's, like, know that you are going to have the resources you need. There's money to be made here. There's, there are, everything you're looking for is off the cliff. So now it's time to, like, jump, grow wings, fly see what you're made of like it's just time to go with or without a lover like just go so and nine of swords at the bottom of the deck so stop letting your head run you don't the nine of swords is like this dark nightmarish energy don't let that Hold you back from everything you're capable of doing. These are only things that exist in your mind. They're not real. They're not real. So jump. Because everything's waiting for you. Excuse me, guys. Um, okay, yeah. So have a happy Valentine's Day. Have a happy rest of your February. I will see you guys back in March. Um yeah check out check out the video at the end of this one i'll put the link and peggy loves you guys too <laughs> bye